to the hardcore ring, Yo, Daniel Wynn. Yeah, that, Daniel Wynn is making jungle. his professional debut in tonight, in and he's trained in the jungle. by the famous, world-class Australian legend, Alexi Petrullius, from 168 Muay Thai. Daniel's an absolute monster in the ring, and after a, after a successful amateur career, he's ready to play with the big boys here tonight. For you. life, we no. taking over. No doubt. Coming to a theater near you. Check it, Check it out. Come on, check it. Make sure my mic is loud and my production is tight. Better watch me round your girl if you ain't fucking the right. You damn player haters never wanna see me. Bro. Tonight, boy in Chris Broadley. CEO. Yo, Chris Broadley's trained by the inimitable O'Neill Ortega out of Dominance Jeep. Chris returns after a long layoff, and we first saw Chris on Hardcore's very first show back in 2019. Looking to make a big statement here tonight, Chris Broadley brings a pedigree of training and confidence here to the ring. And over to Adam in the middle of the ring. And our 61 kilogram weight division, put your hands together for Daniel Wynn. Keep those hands coming, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the red corner, Chris Broadley. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules and what's expected. Listen to my instructions at all times. Defend yep. yourselves at all times. Touch gloves yep. if you wish. Go back to your corners. Good luck. We are ready for three by three minute rounds of Muay Thai action to kick off hardcore promotions from inside the Melbourne Pavilion. Michael Chavello, Nick Mara, and we are joined by the legend himself, the Hammer, Mark Castanini. Good crowd coming in here. Hammer, going to be a great night. Australia versus Thailand. Well, absolutely, Michael. It's uh, always action packed, these hardcore events. And uh, well done to Mark Chelsea and the team for amassing a great card with some uh, internationals at the tail end. Alexia Petrullis in the corner of Daniel Wen removes the Mong Kong, places it on the corner post, as is tradition. Lightning and we're underway in round number one. Wen in the blue, broadly in the red. Oh, Both men testing the waters early out of orthodox stance with the kicking arsenal. High kick there from Daniel Wynn. Just seeing what each other has to offer. Solid work from Daniel Wynn yep. in the opening 25 seconds. Very light on that lead foot is Wynn. Trying for an overhand right there. 
Seeing if he can press broadly into the corner, uppercut elbow. When wasting no time, Hammer, and utilising the full repertoire of Muay Thai. Of course, uh, when trained by Alexia Petrullius, so Alexia, very walk up, you know, busy fight style, and no doubt when will uh, be trained in that in that same style. He'll be, he'll be solid in the clinch as well, and as was mentioned in the open, he's had a he's had a, uh, a fair amateur warm up into this, so a good amateur career. Now he's turning to the pros, so we'll see how he equips himself here. No padding. Daniel Wen showing no signs of butterflies on his professional debut. Steps in, nice knee to the upper left rib gauge. Crossing elbow, another smashing elbow off the right here from Daniel Wen. Good clinch over in the blue corner. Wen throwing the knees. You can see Wen thinking about spinning in that clinch as well. So I think if Broadley gives him any room in the clinch, he's going to try a spinning elbow on the inside, which is, again, one of Alexi's favourite weapons. Good switch up round kick. Looks to switch it on again. Does win. Nice jab from Broadley. Needs some right hand for company or a leg kick underneath. Goes to the body. Both men kicking off the back legs. Good high check there from Wen. High kick from Wen came close. I should say from Broadley. Wen almost dropping that right hand. Came with a nice left elbow, did Daniel Wen. If you're talking pure Muay Thai technique so far, Hammer, you've got to give the edge to Daniel Wen. Yeah, Wen's aggressive, so when the scoring's even, shot for shot, it comes to the, the aggressor that will be given the nod. So it's a close one, and when going forward, he be favoured. But Broadley's coming back nicely now as well. I'd like to see these guys, after they kick punch, just to keep that barrier and keep that distance control. Good evasion there from Broadley. That time you see Wen had brought that right forearm up to protect against that high left round kick of Broadley. Wen consistently looking to send Broadly to the outside and try and keep him against the ropes here, Nick. So excited to see this matchup here tonight. And a beautiful low kick there from Wen. Broadly hitting the deck. But it's great to see Broadly starting to bring his game plan into effect, imposing his will. I think uh, attacking, if Wen keeps attacking that lead thigh Broadly, it's going to give him uh, a little bit of good result. Good right hand, knees to the midsection from Wen. Broadly, couple of knees off the right, make it in triplicate from Broadly. Scored four in a row there, Chris Broadly. And we go to the towels at the end of the opening round. The first of many fights tonight inside the Melbourne Pavilion. It's Australia versus Thailand in our triple main event. And Hammer, as we look at the replays, how did you score the first round? I think uh, on aggression, it's so close. Score the shot for shot. But if the judges are looking at the, the fighter pushing forward, you'd have to go the way of the blue corner and Daniel Wren. I think he, uh, he just was more aggressive. And that low kick that uh, buckled the leg of Broadley will also, you know, count for something as well. Nick, after a round like that, it's hard to believe that Daniel Wren is making his pro debut. It's just a testament to the, uh, to the pedigree of Muay Thai here in Australia, Michael. I mean, you know, Hammer's... Uh, a legend that's um, been leading the charge for Muay Thai in Australia. And great to see these fighters here tonight. Stay back your corner. Stay there. Wipe the floor, guys. Start making some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Round two. Second round set for three. Unofficially 10-9 opener for Daniel Wen in the blue. Good high kick off the back leg from Wen. There's one from Broadley. Jab from Broadley again. Needs some company though with that jab. Perhaps the right cross follow through afterwards. Perhaps a chopping low kick. Catch and counter there. Try to sweep up the support leg. Two bites of the cherry. And a flying elbow from Daniel Wen. He's certainly aggressive, the blue corner. Wen uh, giving it a red hot crack and backing up Broadley. Broadley in neutral corner. Now big knee, jumping knee from Wen. Trying to get the knee guard on Broadley. There's a kick off the knee guard. So uh, Wen just controlling, really, this one. Wen leading with that jab. Left hook, uppercut, left hook again, moves into the clinch, tries to back broadly against the ropes. Nice knee threaded to the left ribs there from Wen. There's one of the sternum from Wen. Broadly returning the favour, trying to turn Wen the clinch. Wen not allowing it, though. Two very strong young fighters here, Nick. Absolutely, Michael. I mean, shot for shot, but as uh, as you and my Hammer have mentioned, Wen really seems to have the upper hand here, imposing his will where he wants and when he wants. Getting away the uh, the solid shots, indeed, Wen is doing well. 
Nice defence from Wen. Broadly continuing to go high off that lead leg. Good sliding front kick there from Broadley. High left round from Wen. Broadley again favouring that lead leg roundhouse kick. Thinking maybe he's found a chink in the armour of Daniel Wen, but he hasn't exposed it yet. Perhaps Hammer waiting to see if Wen does indeed drop that right glove. Yeah, just get there's a nice elbow rolling forward. Again, aggressive forward movement will score well for Wen. You need to keep going now. Broadly will be here for the duration. There's that leg attack that I was talking of. Wen's got to go after that because that's that's a telling sign there for Broadly that he's hurt. If he keeps hacking away, they need to set up that low kick with some punches though. Don't throw one out because Broadly will just switch or check it. He needs to hide that technique and then chop down like that. Nicely done. I do like the straight right cross from Broadley as well, but we're not seeing enough of it. Wynn just ploughing away at that lead leg, now the back leg that have already been reddened on both sides of Chris Broadley. The work rate continues for Daniel Wren. 20 seconds remaining, spin back elbow to a step through knee from Wren. It is a Muay Thai showcase, again the second round, all eight weapons from Daniel Wen. So impressed by uh, Broadley here. I mean, the guy's tough nails, managing to keep standing and keep... <laughs> Skip up, jumping push kick from Wen to show that aggression again to end that round there. Guys, there's uh, some good stuff from the blue corner. 168, Jim. Alexia Petrullius, a new gym uh, that's certainly breeding some great talent already. Unofficially, Hammer, you have to go at two rounds to nil in favour of Daniel Wen. Yeah, I think uh, we're in agreement on that. He's, uh, he's landed some good clean shots and those hacking kicks to the leg as well. A look at the catch control, chopped down twice on the supporting leg, chambered beautifully the knee strike, knee guard attempt thrown on by Broadley, but Wren just controlling, controlling the movement, controlling the exchanges beautifully. 10-9 opening round for Wen. 10-9 second round for Wen. 2018 after two. Unofficially for the pro debutants with Alexi Petrullis in his corner. As we are ready to roll into the third and final. The crowd continues to build here on a rainy night in Melbourne. And what a night we're in for Australia versus Thailand. Just under three minutes remaining. This fight brought to you by Dardy and Always Green. And a high left round there from Broadley. What did concern me, Nick, about Broadley in the final 30 seconds of the last round, he was consistently looking up at the big screen here in the stadium to see how much time was left. He took the stool between rounds. Wren stood standing between rounds. You've got to wonder about the gas tank, maybe, of Chris Broadley. Absolutely, Michael. Uh, during the second round, it was about a minute into the uh, second round, Broadley started to breathe quite heavily through his mouth. Maybe the gas tank's running low. And Hammer, that's always a danger when a fighter is breathing through their mouth and the mouth is open rather than through the nose. You're more likely to get knocked out when your mouth is open. Yeah, absolutely. And plus it's a telltale sign that the fighter's gassing a bit. Always good to look. Nice uppercut there from Wem as well. Broadly is pushing the pace. This is the best round so far for Broadly, this one. But his hands go a little more here. Chris Broadly, nice elbow to the orbital. There's one on either cheek from Daniel Wen. Drives Broadly back into that blue corner where he's gone so often with this clinch, Daniel Wen. Stop! Both men obviously right. enjoy Step being back. inside Step the clinch. But particularly Daniel Wen, when he is in front of his corner with Alexi Petrullius guiding him through every step. 135 remaining, third and final. Again, nice low kick from Wen. He's tough though, Broadly. I'll give him that. He keeps coming forward. He knows he's got to push the pace in this last round. He's got to have a big finish. Bank off the lead hand there from Wen. Broadly goes high. No real mustard behind that roundhouse. Wen backs him off again. Solid check there from Daniel Wen. Nicely done. Just got out of the way of that left hook from Broadly. There's the right cross from Broadly, and Wen took out that right leg. Nice timing from Daniel Wen. One minute to go here, Nick, in his pro debut, and he has looked stellar. I tell you what, if you look at the body of Chris Broadley, that really tells the story of this fight. He has been beaten senseless by Daniel Wen. Got to be happy about this performance, Hammer. Yeah, he's been uh, landing the clean out a more obvious scoring shots, Wen, and uh, on debut. And our opening fight of the night as well. Great quality bout, and uh, I'm sure just a, a prelude for what's to come. Some good Muay Thai here tonight on Hardcore. 
Quinn may be trying to get on the inside and land those elbows. He has been successful all throughout the fight in landing the elbows. Not so much from Broadley, however. Jumping knee attempt there from Daniel Wynn. As Nick pointed out, you can see the redness on the body on the inside and outside of both legs of Chris Broadley. It really does tell a story as when delivers a nice high check, Final gives a little nod, seconds. final 10 seconds, uppercut elbow. Broadly backed into his own corner momentarily, jumping knee from Daniel Wynn. We are going to the scorecard. Hammer, would you say 30-27, Daniel Wynn? Yeah, pretty much uh, one-way traffic for the blue corner. And uh, wow, what a, what a debut for this young man. Daniel Wen, I look forward to seeing a lot more of him. Great composure, great technical ability, and uh, all-round clean skills against the more experienced Broadley. But Broadley also is a tough campaigner just tonight. I feel it wasn't his night. Your winner, making his debut tonight and out of the blue corner, put your hands together, Daniel Wynn.